we met in College Station, Texas. Uh, I just got out of the Navy. She was a student there at Texas A&M. We met at uh, a local church there that we were attending, and our, one of our first dates were, was playing tennis together. Before we started trying to have a family, our typical date nights would be something like going to Starbucks or going to Barnes & Noble, walking around, looking at books. We'd also spend a lot of time with family and friends. We have two nieces and nephews who we love and love to spend time with. So family and friends and taking time for just the two of us was how we spent most of our time. I wasn't in a rush to have kids. My expectation was to get married and have kids at some point. Uh, we ran into a few challenges once we were prepared to have kids that took longer than we expected. My expectations before we started this process was um, I, I'm a teacher and so I wanted to teach for a little bit. I loved, I love working with little kids and I was enjoying my career. I could see kids in our future sooner rather than later. We just took a different path. We first discovered that we were having trouble getting pregnant. We had been trying for a, about a year and a half just naturally and it wasn't working. And then we noticed some changes with my health and we went to the, my regular OBGYN. She ran a bunch of tests and realized that I was unable to get pregnant on my own. I have low ovarian reserve. The only way we were gonna get pregnant is if we did IVF with an egg donor. It was a shock when we learned uh, why we were having issues, but it was good to understand the cause of it, which allowed us to better understand what we need to do to get pregnant and IVF was our route forward. After our, my diagnosis, we decided to take some time, just the two of us, to kind of deal with what that diagnosis meant for me. But I think what helped get me through it was, first of all, Kenny. He was very supportive and positive when I wasn't always. Um, we have a family that was very supportive also and checked in on us often. We felt comfortable speaking with them and that definitely helped in just spending time together, making our marriage stronger and getting through it is I think what led us to being 100% ready to start with IVF. The emotions during this time were definitely a roller coaster. It was up and down. Some days were worse than others, but I think once we got closer to knowing that f children were gonna be in our future, it was more positive and, and happy and hopeful. We knew pretty quickly after I was diagnosed with infertility that we were going to need to see a fertility specialist. We immediately decided on DFW Fertility Associates to help us get pregnant. When we began researching different doctors in the Dallas area, we were looking at DFW Fertility Associates and I pulled up the individual doctor biographies and I read a little bit about each doctor at DFW Fertility Associates and I noticed that Dr. Thomas had also struggled with infertility and that just gave me such peace and comfort knowing that she would understand where I was coming from. We knew that she was the one for us. Pretty quickly after our first appointment, we knew we were gonna use DFW Fertility Associates in-house donor egg program. We met with Gayla actually the same day of our appointment with Dr. Thomas and she described to us this process and what it would look like and gave us information about how to start looking for a potential donor. We found one probably within 24 hours. It was very quick. Um, it was a perfect match for what exactly what we were looking for. Everyone made us feel safe and comfortable and they were open to questions 24 hours a day, which made me feel better because I ask all the questions. For fertility treatments for this process, I began with Lupron shots and I took those shots while the donor was preparing herself for egg retrieval. Once she went into egg retrieval, I started progesterone shots to get my body ready to receive the egg. That lasted for, I guess, about two or three weeks. And then we went in for the transfer and went through that process. And I stayed on progesterone shots for 10 weeks. I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to handle it myself. I wasn't even getting the shot. But after the first few rounds, we got into a rhythm of the entire process from beginning to end. And ultimately when that 10 weeks finished up, uh, we were pretty much pros at it. Throughout this whole process, it was surprising that we had very few setbacks or negative experiences considering all the negative we had heard and the bad reports we had had from the beginning. Um, our calendar stayed on track. We never had to adjust dates. The egg retrieval and egg transfer went perfectly. Nothing disheartening, nothing concerning. It's been a really great experience so far. We decided to use donor eggs because that was the only way we were gonna get pregnant with our diagnosis if I wanted to be pregnant. Throughout this process, my biggest fear was the ultimate, it wouldn't work. And even now, I still worry that it, 
something's gonna happen and it's not gonna work, but I do feel hopeful, very supported with our friends and family and our staff of doctors and nurses. DFW Fertility Associates were really helpful in giving us all the information we needed. One thing that kept us positive and hopeful throughout this experience was Dr. Thomas had told us about the success rates that they had had at the clinic and that really helped me feel hopeful and confident that this would work. The egg donor process was very easy at the clinic. We started off by choosing our donor and once we had chosen our donor, they did all the legwork, getting everything organized, all the paperwork together, the calendar set up, and then just making sure that I was on track with the donor for the egg transfer day. It was really quick after our first initial meeting where we got access to the portal uh, to be able to review the donors that were available at the time frame that we were looking to, to do the transfer. So it was a very easy process and, and fairly quick. DFW Fertility Associates was very clear in walking us through this whole process. They gave us pamphlets and checklists and calendars and phone numbers and emails. We knew that we could ask any question that we, we ever had any time of the day and everyone was very supportive throughout this whole process. I feel that DFW Fertility Associates offers an amazing resource for parents who want to have either their first child or other children, whether it's through traditional IVF or donor egg IVF. They offer in-house donor egg resources so that you can use one of their own personally vetted donors for this intimidating process. The best part of our experience up to this point is just how quickly and positively everything has gone. We are currently pregnant with a little girl. We found out that we were pregnant two weeks after our transfer, which is amazing to me that it was that quick. They were very thorough with their ultrasounds. It was pretty exciting to be able to see the baby grow. Uh, each time we came in, she kept getting bigger and it was, it was just an exciting process to be a part of. My advice for anyone experiencing infertility would be to ask any and all questions, to do your research. DFW Fertility Associates were, were really helpful throughout this entire process, being able to utilize them for all of our questions. They had all the resources available. They streamlined the process. Uh, so they were, they were very helpful in alleviating our stress and uh, allowing us to get pregnant. Initially, the thought of using a donor egg terrified me. But I think after understanding that I would get to be pregnant and get to experience pregnancy and growing this child definitely gave me some peace. And again, using Gayla and Dr. Thomas and all of the nurses and all of the staff at DFW Fertility Associates solidified our decision to use donor egg IVF. We are incredibly grateful to DFW Fertility Associates for making our dreams come true. We know we could not be pregnant without them and we will forever be thankful to them for what they have done for us and when we're ready to have our second child we fully plan on going back.